what's going on out there truck drivers listen tonight i'm going to talk to you about something that's like it's not scripted you know i don't have a notes written down or anything but it's just truck drivers are just not truck drivers anymore and i hear that so much and i want to bring back the old techniques and that's why i started this channel so i can try to educate people and try to teach y'all what truck driving is like truck driving is not for everybody it's not you got to make it's only a certain person that can actually do this so i'm gonna try my best to go over what i got in my mind this, today about truck driving and why people are not just truck drivers no more so first off if you're new to my channel hit subscribe hit that like button to get any value out of this let's get into it the truck drivers not being truck drivers no more all right i've only been driving 50 15 years there's drivers like i I've just been driving for longer than i met a guy today drove for 50 years just retired so that's different there's some really old school truck drivers but today i find that i'm seeing that there's truck drivers or a lot of these are entitled we have a lot of entitled truck drivers out there that and i'm not a i don't you know I, i'm a company driver but i don't feel like i'm entitled i work my tail off i get out here and, and work hard but i see a lot of drivers out here that do stupid things like they, they complain about when the load gets rescheduled or they say well you know truck driving uh this thing organized i don't like this da, da, da. i see truck drivers all day they call me and complain like they can't handle the you know not being organized and i get it it should be a little more organized than what it is but this is truck driving things are going to change if you're not ready for to be in a company or an industry that's what they can adapt to changes it's not for you bud this is not a nine to five job this job requires a lot of hours it requires being away from home it requires not making it back when you think you will and you know what loads can change so i'm not saying it's good i'm not saying it's fun i'm just saying this is truck driving baby it changes uh you know like to give you an example today i'm headed to orlando florida and i was supposed to get a load from savannah headed back to atlanta and be home tomorrow night so i can go christmas shopping friday uh, but guess what when i get savannah they need me to go to mobile alabama first so tomorrow when i get up it's 300 miles to savannah and then it's gonna be 300 miles home that's 600 miles i can do that tomorrow now it's 300 miles to savannah 500 miles to mobile another 500 to my house so it's going to be late friday night if everything goes right before i'm home but instead of getting all upset about it and calling my company and raising cane and this that and that, and that i'm just going to do it you know i'm gonna do what i got to do and get it done with now you know if there's a time that i really can't do something i'll let them know but it's not that outrageous but it just it changes so i could break down tomorrow my tires should blow Am I going to get mad at my dispatcher? Am I going to get mad at my company? And I'm the one that chose to be a truck driver. I'm the one that chose to do this profession. And it takes the good, the bad, and the ugly. So I might not be telling you what you want to hear tonight, drivers. But I'm telling you the truth. Things are going to happen, the unexpected, and it can be stressful. It's how you deal with it. It's all about our mentality up here. Like I told you before, your mentality can make you and break you on anything out here. So you gotta have a strong mentality if you wanna get out of here and, and deal with this. You gotta look at the cup being half full instead of half empty. And another thing that's driving me crazy is drivers, they'll, you know, when it's time to go home, man, we'll drive, we'll say, oh man, that AVI, screw that shit, screw that pre-trip. Oh man, I ain't worried about any little land of freeze, I'm getting home. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm overweight, I bypass that scale, I'm good. Then as soon as these drivers get on load, they don't wanna do it, it's time to go out. Oh, I don't know about that, man. That's something wrong with this truck. I need to get this thing fixed. DOT gonna get me. Then they want to pull over, which they should. And I'm not saying don't. If you got something wrong with your truck, you need to get it fixed. But what I'm saying is it goes both ways. Don't be the driver out there that won't get something fixed to get home and break the laws to get home, but then don't want to break the law to get the load there. I'm not saying break the law, period. I'm saying don't break the law. Be the driver that gets things fixed all the time and be the same no matter what. But instead, you got these drivers that want to, you know, we need to run, we need runs, I need runs. And then, you know, then you give them runs and then, or they give them runs and then all of a sudden it's in the week and they, they got hours on the clock, they don't want to run nowhere. 
But if it's the other way around, well, I ain't got no hours now. I can't run, you know, blah, 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 but I need hours. I need to run. Then they have hours, then they want to run. So it's not a lot of entitled drivers out there. There's a lot of drivers out there that are just pansies, that are lazy, and that are a piece of crap. And that's just the way I'm calling it, the way I see it. Then you've got a lot of dispatchers, a lot of companies that are a piece of craps and that are messed up. And I get that too. But that, you know, it goes both ways. It, you know, the driver can complain about a company being bad, bad, bad. And you have the company complain about the drivers being bad, bad. It goes both ways. So drivers, if you want that raise, do your best. If you help your company succeed, maybe they'll help you succeed. Maybe they'll help you make it. You know what I mean? That's what it should be. That's what it should be. Like, if we all thought alike, it would work out better. But it, it don't, it seems it don't work that way. I don't know why. But all I know is I can do the best I can be and do all I can do. And you know what? I, it, it, it'll work out for me in the long run. If it don't, I'll find a company that will. Or I'll get a dispatcher that will work with me. But other than that, I do the best I can. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to give it my all. Every single day I come out here, I'm going to give it my all. Um, and like I said, going back about truck drivers not being truckers no more. I mean, we used to find our drivers could find their way places. Now they can't find their way nowhere. They're always lost. I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do that. I don't know what, it, what what's happened. I know the CDL schools are not teaching them right. That's a lot to do with it. A lot of times back in the old days, we'd have the old timers teaching us. And I guess there's not a lot of old timers out here no more. But it just seems like truck drivers don't know what they're doing nowhere all across the board. So I'm trying to... I'm saying this, I know I'm rambling, but I'm saying this, drivers, educate yourself, ask, learn, and do the best you can. And just, if you want to be a truck driver, be a truck driver. If you don't, go do something else. That's all. This is Truck Live with Sean. I hope you got some value from this. If you did, hit that like button. Share this video. Let's get it.